Alright my fellow degenerates, they were checking out the only subreddit where Judy Hops literally abducts you and forcefully takes you to Brazil. It's r slash furry IRL. Go to Brazil, damn it! There is no meme. You're going to Zootopia. Come here! Now oh, what is this? A threat or a punishment or a very, very welcomed escape from the real world? Judy Hops, you cannot threaten me with the chance of being my persona and living in a world where anthropomorphic uh, animals exist. You can't threaten me with this. It would be like threatening a masochist with bodily harm. He's born of that. Hey, I like what you're selling, mate, but can you lower the price a little? It's a tad overpriced. Minecraft villager be like, huh? Did I, did I do it right? Did I get it? Did I sound like a villager there? <laughs> It, it should disturb me a lot that I play Minecraft, so much of it, in fact, that I'm starting to sound like a villager. And every time I try to imitate them, I sound exactly, well not exactly, kinda like them. Dragons in the Middle Ages, multicultural, mean and scary, fought famous mythological heroes like St. George and the Persian warrior Rostam. Dragons now. Ooh. ooh. You wanna know why there's such a difference now from dragons of the day, of dra from the dragons of the Middle Ages? Because back in the Middle Ages, everything was different, you know? There's no technology, there's not much laws, everything is terrible. Everyone has to do very unspeakable things in order to survive, especially the dragons. Everyone hated them in the Middle Ages. Everyone wanted them to die. So what choices do they have from being mean and scary to fight off the people who want to kill them? But now, with equal opportunities and stricter laws of killing innocent mythological creatures, dragons can now live in harmony and do whatever the heck they want without the fear of losing their lives every single day. Tonight, we can sleep well knowing that this sexy dragon daddy is safe and sound in today's society. Sand slash fact. I am 100 meters from your location and rapidly approaching. Pro tip, start running. That's pretty tough talk for a rat that can be critical hit with a bottle of piss. Furries, E621. Disney tag, furries. Why does Disney hate us? Are you This is complete bull crap. You wanna know why? Because Disney does not hate furries. In fact, Disney's 90% of their audience are furries. They've been doing anthropomorphic crap since the dawn of their corporation. If they hated us so bad, they would stop making perfectly rendered anthropomorphized animals in their movies and shows. So this is bullcrap, okay? Disney loves us. Loves us to the point they would put fan service animations out in their movies. What, you think the nudist scene in Zootopia was for comedic purposes? Ah, 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 that's for us. That is for us. They know their audience. They love their audience. They love furries. So don't come at me with this bullcrap meme of Disney hating us, okay? You can't just keep obsessing over Ad Aster and Amicus. It's a fictional furry visual novel. How about I do anyway? Uh, you will. You will. It's unavoidable. The moment that VN ends and you get to the point where Amicus says goodbye to you, you will end up obsessing over it for a very long time. And I'm not gonna blame you, Echo Project made and wrote that scene very very well. They sold it. Although the obsession will gradually decrease the more you not think about it. It's not gonna go away, but it's not gonna be as present as the last time you've read it. You know that's a scratching post, right? Oh, he's scratching something, all right. It must be very painful to do pole dances on a pole that's made out of that material. Just imagine that rubbing against the insides of your thighs, gradually chafing away your skin until it's freaking raw. Oh, what? My phone died. Now I can't poop. Isn't it weird that we as a society has evolved a habit of taking our phones into the bathroom when we take a crap. And it's a habit that we do almost all the time to the point where red spots on our thighs would appear 
which is a place where our elbows would naturally rest while we're using our phone on the toilet. R slash shower thoughts. Someone, somewhere, at some point has probably idly fantasized about being in a relationship with you. Ah, eh, big deal, I had nightmares too. You know, I, I find it kind of sad that a person would think that they are so unlovable to the point that if they were in a relationship, they would somehow be the worst person to be in a relationship. I, I kind of find, I find that kind of depressing as it kind of shows that that person has a lot of self-image issues, um, emotional issues, and self-confidence issues, really. So I just gotta say, if you think that you're the worst person to be with, you're not, okay? Someone out there wants to be with you. Everything that you are, every flaw that you have, regardless of what those flaws are, they will want to be with you. Out of all the billions upon billions of people in this earth, someone is bound to want to be with you, okay? I, I want you to not lose hope. Well, at least you're still alive. Yeah, but I still feel lost. There is no context given in this post. I, I, I want to, like, contact the artist of this uh, drawing and ask him or ask them what the uh, context of this image is. Because one of those uh, contexts that I'm uh, getting from this, it's kind of um, terrifying. The, the, one, the one that's not terrifying is the fact that, hey, he feels lost. He feels alone. He may be alive, but he's kind of empty inside. The alternative is terrifying. You see in the, at the uh, very bottom of this panel here, he is lost in space. What if that is the literal meaning of this comic? That right now, he is alive, he is breathing, but for how long? He is trapped floating in within the vacuum of space and time. In a situation like that, a bullet to the head would be merciful. Being alone, floating in the cold vacuum of space till the end of your time? That's terrifying. When you want to be with him, but he's hurt you too many times. I love... <laughs> I love the fact that you can put any kind of quote over this image of Godzilla turning his back on Kong and it would work 100% of the time. Try it, try it, try it right now. I want you to screenshot this image, um, cut out the, the text and put in your own. You can literally make it work with any kind of quote. And once you're done, you've done making your edits, I want you to send it to me. Send it to me however you want, email, Twitter, uh, on Discord, anyway, in anyhow, you can send it to me. Please send it to me. And that brings us to the end of our slash furry IRL. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, support me on Coffee. My coffee link is in the description below. And don't forget to join the official Discord server for my channel. And don't forget to check me out on TikTok. The links will be provided for you in the description below. This has been your fellow Degenerate Cook Boss EDH, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Stay foxy, much love.